Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time to dive into a brand new City Skyline series 2021. I've been looking so much forward to reignite this series. Everything noteworthy such as the map and the mods are listed in the description. I decided to go with a borderline vanilla playthrough. I do own most of the DLCs as well as content packs though, but I opted out of almost all the mods that change the gameplay too dramatically such as move it or traffic manager and for the foreseeable future I would like to keep it as vanilla as possible. The only things I really wanted in the game is that I can zoom out as far as possible but also that we can unlock all of the tasks that are on the map. I don't want to be restricted to 9 tiles only, why would I? Anyhow, if everything goes well with the series and it also gains some traction, this will be the craziest series I've done so far on this channel. And that means a lot considering the last series on this game lasted for 98 episodes. Anyhow, without any further ado, let's get things started. First and foremost, I would like to unlock all the roads, so we're just gonna place one, which is giving us access to more roads. Our first goal, as usual, is going to be to build something up that actually gives us money, and this time around I'm gonna start with a roundabout. We're also gonna connect our highway to this thing, just like that, that seems to be fine. Before we do anything else, let's get some services in the joint. For instance, we're gonna need a water pumping station. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, the water flows into this direction. So we wanna have our pumps on this side. One is probably gonna be enough. And we also want a water drain pipe for the sewage. That is gonna go on the other side. This way the pollution is away from my citizens. The way I thought this would work is reserve this portion here for the residential, then we're gonna have a commercial district and the industry we can get started right here. So without any further ado, we're gonna get things planned out. I'm gonna do this with gravel roads, just in case I need to delete things again. And obviously we don't wanna be wasteful. In the beginning I wanna be as space efficient as possible, so we are gonna do some grid layouts, but we're gonna try to make it more organic very soon. I guess all of this can be residential and then we want to start connecting a few things more organically here. Maybe if we can, we can already make this a park area. Looks like we will have to do some terraforming as well. Uh, actually, that does not look quite as good as I wanted. Yes, there we go. That is much better. That is going to be the beginning of my residential area. We also want to connect this to the roundabout. Gonna make my way over here and up there slightly. And this is hopefully gonna allow me to connect the roundabout. Gonna continue a little more straight, get over there and connect it again. Everything here in the center I'm actually gonna change as soon as I'm making some money, but first we have to make sure that it's actually happening. So I'm actually gonna take a road over here just so that I have the same layout. Right here I would like to set up my first shopping mile. We can even go back a little bit and do something like that. Maybe have another connection somewhere. Yeah, approximately here should be a good connection. And then still with the same orientation, I would like to have my first industrial area in this place. We can get rid of this connection again. I just needed it to get the angles right. And I think with the industry area, I just want to make one big loop for the time being. We're going to need a connection out of the roundabout and then also back into it. And at this point, we might even want to get rid of this part here. So the vehicles are forced to actually take the loop. But yeah, that is just to get the basic idea and gist of it. I want to prepare a little area here for the coal plant, which is going to be my first power source. It's really worth placing one of those instead of the wind turbines, even though they seem a little bit more expensive. They actually provide much more power. It is now time to do some basic zoning. All of these can be residential. And I think right here I want to be a little bit more careful and specific with my zoning. So I don't really want houses in all of the squares. Some of them I might want to use for decoration instead. We're gonna wait with zoning anything else and just let a bunch of people move in. However, before we can do that, we actually have to hook up our water source. I tend to have most pipes going along the roads. I think a lot of people are doing that, even though it's not always the most efficient layout. But I think we should be able to afford it at the moment, connect this as well. And we're gonna make our way over to the future commercial area, get those guys some water too. And last but not least, just a connection here that I'm gonna remove again once we have a better layout. This now leaves us with 13,000 left in the bank. I would say it's time to unpause and actually let a bunch of people move in. 
Ah, we can already see buildings are popping up everywhere. Already looking forward to this. Maybe before we lose too much money, we should also think about the power poles. For now, I just want to connect the various districts. So this should go all the way over here as well. And then we must not forget our water pump here as well. Okay, now soon enough, a bunch of people should move in. Maybe we can already have a look at our budget. For the time being, we might want to decrease our maintenance basically for everything and save on as much money as possible until things get rolling. Wonderful. Looks like we have our first truck supplying the power plant. While we're waiting for these bastards to actually move in, let me thank every one of you who is leaving a comment on this episode. I will answer every comment, just like I always try. But you can literally write anything in the comments today and I will give it some type of a response so you know I read it. Also, I would really appreciate a thumbs up as getting this video into the recommended is going to be really important to kickstart it. So I definitely appreciate everyone who is taking the time to actually do that. Looks like currently we have a population of 217 people coming to town and here they are. Wonderful. I think this is the first guy, Dexter Alexander. Welcome to the city. So yeah, they are now all moving in and I would say it's time for some businesses. We do want to give them jobs and everything. So they're going to require some industry as well as commercial. We're going to zone a little bit of industry along this side. This might already be enough to get things kickstarted. And then also a strip of commercial right there. And all of these should actually pop up very shortly. Yeah, there we already have the first two commercial buildings. And then the industry is going to follow here. Yeah, wonderful. They are building eagerly. I love it. I think we might be able to get away with even more industry. And will you look at that? We are already in the green in terms of money. That's how fast and smoothly it can go. In this case, I think I already want to start upgrading a couple of roads. For instance, these roads right here should only be one way. Same thing right there. Same thing with this guy should be one way and this guy here as well. Now all the directions should be clear. I'm also going to upgrade the roads around the houses since it tends to help with upgrading. And obviously to get more people in the joint, upgrading is very important. Now I definitely ran out of money, so we're just going to leave the game running in order to make some. Wonderful. I just love the beginning of City Skylines as everything comes to life slowly but surely. And yeah, it looks as though we can already go for more residential, that's what I thought. In order for these guys to upgrade, we need to unlock the schools anyways. We just actually reached the first milestone, which indeed gave us access to the first stage of education. So there are a few things we need to take care of. I think I'm gonna go for the recycling center right off the bat. The landfill site is always so annoying when it starts filling up. So we're gonna plop down a recycling center on the other side here. And then we need to wait for a little bit of money for the first school. We could probably go ahead and make an additional residential area right here, right off the bat. But I usually try to get more people by upgrading the existing houses. At least that is my preferred method. Well, I guess it cannot hurt to actually already start and plan out a few things. For instance, I would like to see a connection right there. Now, can we do this nicely? Yeah, that actually looks like a nice connection. And then potentially have a dead end road going along here. That should be fine. Gonna do another thingy mabob and this is gonna be my next residential area. So we can start to fill some of this up already. And once again, I want to actually make sure we don't exaggerate and only build buildings that I really want. So for now, I'm going to leave all of this be. Going to add some more buildings there. Yeah, obviously these bastards also want some water. And I wouldn't be surprised if they also start complaining about power. So let's provide that as well. Wonderful. We have access to the taxes, which means we're going to raise them right away to 12%. This is the number where the citizens still don't complain. So this should raise our weekly income considerably. And then we can already start to think about where to place a school and a clinic. I think we want to set up some industry here on the other side as well. And then maybe just a tiny bit more commercial too. There we go, already a thousand bucks weekly. That is perfect, which is enough for a elementary school. And I think a really good spot for this would be here, especially considering how we can do this in the future. Actually, let me build a tiny piece of road here. 
just to make sure I actually build it in the right spot. But there we go, we now have access to a school and everyone is happy. So the only thing we're really missing is a medical clinic also for 10k. Looks like we don't quite have enough power to keep everything running including the pump, so we have to increase our budget for it. We could go ahead and just raise this gradually, but I think we're out of the dark. And we shouldn't run into budget issues even if we bring this up to 100%. But yeah, there we go, all the complaints are now disappearing again. Now if we have a look at education, we can see 99% are still uneducated, but slowly and surely this is gonna change. And therefore it's gonna allow the houses to start upgrading. Now what I would like to see here is a more or less nifty connection like so. That is connecting the two districts. And therefore we should now also have a good spot for our medical clinic that is gonna go right there. It's also gonna make everyone happy and hopefully they're gonna start upgrading soon. At this point I'm actually ready to zone another row of residentials. And I think we're just gonna do the inner part right there. Obviously also give them all the services as well. And just like that we have reached the status of Worthy Village. Giving us the police station as well as the firehouse. Two more things we have to take care of. So we'll actually have to make sure this doesn't come crashing down at us. We need to keep the budget in mind. For instance the firehouse already costs us 560 a week. And also the police station costs 480 a week. So I'm only gonna start placing those once we actually get problems. Alright, looks like we're doing slightly better in terms of budget and we also have our first crime wave here. Of course having no police department is kind of an invitation to that. So we're gonna set one up right there. This should be able to serve the entirety of the town. And yes indeed, the criminals are being collected, just like that. This actually immediately made a couple of houses upgrade because we provided them with services. That's what people love to see. And now we have it pretty much balanced out with the demands. Not residential, commercial or industry is dominating one another. Exactly what I want to see in the beginning for a steady growth. And now we should not be impatient and just wait for a bunch of these houses to still upgrade. We should already have made progress here with the education part as you can see. And I guess as soon as we get the first fires we also set up a fire station. Oh, <laughs> there's already a couple of buildings on fire. So I guess we have no choice. I actually would like to set this up here in this corner. This in turn means we have to fix the power a little bit. But there we go. All set and done. And we should have some fire trucks taking care of the issue. Of course now we won't be making as much money. But it's gonna accumulate again once the areas start to develop a bit. Yeah I can actually hear all the houses upgrading. There is another one that has reached level 2 for instance. And already the space for 3 households. It has been raining for a month straight. Not sure what I think about that one. Okay, now I would definitely appreciate some more households here. And then we're gonna do a couple of smaller ones along this side. And I guess a couple of beach properties here wouldn't be the worst of things. At this point we're basically stable, so I'm gonna straighten out the budgets for all of the services. We're still in the green with the budget, but now we have to wait and let things develop a bit before we continue expanding. Alright, I let things develop for a little bit and I think we're ready for the next expansion. We're gonna expand in all three areas. Starting right here at the bottom with some more residential. Wanna go ahead and fill this up. We're also gonna add some more commercial here on the other side. And it is also time to go for a couple more industrial plots. Now we probably need to add some more piping. And we're just gonna keep rolling with it. The next milestone is actually gonna be very important since we're gonna unlock the basic parks that are gonna be required for the next house upgrades. If we for instance have a look at the commercial areas, they do need some increased land value, which we can easily accomplish using the parks. And just like this we get more taxpayers in the joint already above 1000 weekly budget again. Now I think because it messes too much with the terrain I'm actually gonna remove these houses and instead build some more houses here. We can even add a couple more here. I only really want to go for the ones that are square. This way we have more space for some tree decoration later on. I'm also gonna go ahead and set up another connection between the commercial district and the residential area here. And I guess at this point it is actually time to upgrade some of these roads. Now unfortunately this messed with my zoning a little bit. Just want to make sure everything is still nice and squarish. 
I made this little dead end so the cars have a means of actually turning around. Otherwise, they would have to go all the way to the coal mine in order to do so, which would naturally not be the most practical thing. I think we should set up some more housings along this side. And maybe a bunch here. Hopefully they're not gonna deform the terrain too much. Eh, doesn't look like we're too lucky here. At this point we can actually also get rid of some of the power lines already. I would prefer to connect up these two areas instead of power lines, but we're gonna wait for a park to actually do so. Wonderful, we almost upgraded enough houses to get to the next milestone. We need approximately 40 more people at this point. There we go, tiny town and look at how much stuff we just unlocked, this is incredible. Landscaping is gonna be important, park areas and industry areas, very nice. We also got access to pathways, fences, but most importantly the parks and the next level of education. Actually quite a few parks, nice. So the next milestone is Boomtown at 1900. But let's make sure we actually place down a park. Now I would like this to go right here. Actually if possible on the other side. Maybe there is a smaller version. Yes indeed. I guess we could get one of those in the joint. I'm actually gonna try that. And if we unpause the game we can see a lot more people are happy about this. And the land value will have increased. Another place for a park I had in mind was right here. A large playground. And then maybe we can sneak one more up here into the corner. Actually, I would like this to turn around. Yeah, I would like it to be against the other side of the road. Good. And if I'm not mistaken, we now should be hearing lots and lots of upgrading. Yeah, I can hear it in the background. Some buildings are definitely going for it. I also would like to introduce either a high school or a institute of creative arts. I think we're just gonna go with the standard high school for now. And I wanted this bad boy to be right here with enough space to actually build a pathway around. So if we have a look at the pathways, I should be capable of dragging one along here just around the high school. This is not really because it's convenient for the people, but because it looks nice. Now if we actually can, I think I want to move the elementary school and I want to move it to over here. Gonna delete some of that zoning here. And then maybe, just maybe, we can move the park downwards. I didn't like how it was offset. And we're gonna have some more housing here in the joint. I'm also gonna downgrade this road to gravel once again because I thought it would look a little bit nicer. Maybe another pathway connecting straight up with that road. Yeah, I kind of like this much better. We also unlocked a couple more overlays such as the upgrades. So we can have a look at that. And I guess the land value is also going to be of importance. We want to increase that to allow for more people to actually upgrade. Okay, now before I forget, I think it's time to take apart some of these power poles. And then I guess eventually I would like to continue the highway straight through here. Which means certain things are going to be in the way. Well, at the moment we haven't unlocked any of the roads that I really require to rebuild this. But just rest assured that this is going to be a grandiose interchange slash highway exit. And it is going to be absolutely glorious. Now let's see, I think to wrap this up I would like to see something like this. I want to make sure we turn this around. I do want this to be a one-way road, but actually maybe, yeah, let's do it the other way around. Here we should have the space for another park, maybe even a botanical garden. No, not enough space. What about a Japanese garden? Hmm, yeah, intriguing. I can definitely center it and then we can have some nice buildings around. Look at that. They are all really happy with that change. I love it. As for the shopping, I think I'm just gonna go with a carousel. We're gonna place it against this road and that should also help to upgrade the shopping. Even though this is gonna disappear once I expand the highway. Another thing we could do is connect these power zones. And all we need for this is another building, though actually I don't want that. Let's see, is there maybe a very cheap park that we can use? I mean, some of these parks are just like $8 a week. Yeah, I guess we could snuggle in another park here and therefore these power zones are connected and I can get rid of that as well. Now, I think we should have one more building here along this road. Yeah, the rest here I want to fill up with decorations. I'm gonna do a little bit more housing for this part, but then I think we should be good for the first episode. Education is also happening. We already have 5% well-educated. Very nice. 
And as we can see, the shopping is now also upgrading. What about the industry? Yeah, they are about to do so. Building needs to be covered in more services. Okay, but we cannot really afford that right now. Yeah, I guess we're gonna wait with upgrading the industry because I want to replace that with a forestry industry anyways. And this is gonna move over to another place eventually. Alright, we have 30k back in the bank, earning 1200 bucks weekly. I think this has been a solid and easy start for the first episode, so we can wrap it up in good conscience. If you made it to this point, thank you so much for watching and supporting the video. If you want to follow the development of this eventually awesome city, also consider subscribing to the channel. That would be absolutely phenomenal. Thank you guys, have a great time and hopefully I'm gonna catch you in the next episode. Bye bye.